everyone, it's Holly. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reacting to episode 7 of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We actually saw Winry, bless her heart, spend three nights and days trying to fix Ed's arm and she managed to do it although there was an end credit scene where she left like one of the bolts up but like that's totally fine so this episode I believe they are going to go in search of what's his name Marco Marco's research because he basically said that the philosopher's stone can be made and it can take on many different like forms you know he had it in like a liquid jelly substance it's not actually it doesn't have to be a stone like so we know it can be recreated moved by Ed's determination, Marco gave the brothers the location of his hidden research materials. So that's where they're gonna go. And repaired. Right? He and Al immediately left for the first branch of the National Central Library, where they hope to find Dr. Marco's research into the secrets of the philosopher. I feel like this is gonna be quite a big arc. I don't know. <sighs> Dr. Marco's research! It's all gone! What? In the end, burning the entire place down was easier. Oh. Is that what you were doing in Central? Yeah. Oh my god. Like, I I know I keep saying it, but like, is is he is he good? Is he bad? Oh god, what's behind him? Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, it's it's the big baby. Does this thing have a name? Oh, gluttony, yeah. I'm gonna call him the big baby. He reminds me of the big baby from Spirit Away. <laughs> I'm gonna break your leg. Oh, I know there are some people that for them, lust was their like gay awakening. I just know it. Like, I just know it. I could just tell. There's no mistaking it. This was definitely Scar's jacket. Yeah. Have you found the body? He's not definitely yet. not We're dead. He seems too important to the story to be dead. Hmm. There's nothing left here but ashes. Everything's gone. Shit. Major Armstrong. <laughs> There's a woman who was well acquainted with the materials in the first branch. Oh? Unfortunately, she wasn't working there anymore. Oh. That sounds incredibly helpful. Something wrong? Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> Although, if you don't mind me asking, why are you wearing a suit of armor? Sheska, <laughs> are you here? Miss Sheska? Oh my god, I'm... No one there? Oh. Is she like a kid? Oh my god. Uh, <gasps> brother? There's somebody under there. Oh shit. Yes. And you worked at the library. Oh, oh the library. The word itself is so beautiful. I've loved books my whole entire <laughs> Girl, a job was heaven. <laughs> but I forgot that I was supposed to be working and all I ever did was read. Oh. You. I remember everything that was in them. Does that <gasps> help at all? She does. Oh my god, though, it's is memory something they should rely on for that? Of any book I've ever read. It'll take a while, but I could write them out for you. Thank you, bookworm. <laughs> You're my. But how can we be sure? Like, how can we be sure? You know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. From his research grants, huh? <laughs> Because <laughs> he's a state alchemist. <laughs> they get lots of money. These are cookbooks. What could they possibly have? No, to do there has alchemy? to be something within the lines. I don't believe it. It can be incredibly dangerous if misused. Yeah. In order to prevent that, alchemic research is all. Oh, I fucking knew it! I fucking knew it! I literally knew it. There's just no way. Actually, advanced alchemical notes. Yes! Oh my god, I'm so excited. Wrote them can understand. If they're so heavily encrypted, then how are you going to be able to decipher them? It's not going to be easy. We'll have to use all our alchemical knowledge. Wow, sir. That sounds really complicated. <laughs> Green tea. Green tea? Are you thinking what I am? Uh-huh. It might be a reference to the Green Lion of Metallurgic Alchemy. Do we oh, bloody hell. Do of Flamel's Codex or Lambsprings concerning the Philosopher's Stone? Of course. All right. 
Take a look at this here. Hmm. And here too, you see? Yeah, you're right. And maybe here too. Yeah, it's like just a massive code. Thanks to the money you gave me, Edward, I was able to move my mother to a better hospital. <gasps> she was! Really it. Nah, it was no big deal, really. Have you had any luck deciphering it so far? <laughs> <laughs> Have you found another job yet? <laughs> Al, with that little shit behavior. The first branch had to burn down in the middle of all this. That's been a problem, huh? Odd. All our case records were stored in the stacks at that location, and trying to work without them hasn't been a picnic, let me tell you. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be that. <laughs> I'm gonna be that dickhead and say, can't they just like magic up a hard drive? <laughs> You put it again, Al. I think dedication is a talent all on its own. <laughs> Very smooth, little brother. Very smooth. Well, it's something I always think whenever I see a certain someone I know. <laughs> Get back to work, or you're gonna have to come up with a new motivational phrase. Damn, these two have got some brains on them. I could never. Imagine being able to like remember like books like that. I can't even remember what I had for dinner last night. What did you guys do to this place? Don't get angry because you can't crack it. Throwing things won't help. We did crack it. Oh! We cracked the code and decrypted the notes. <gasps> really? You did? But that's a good thing, isn't it? There's nothing good about this, damn it! Shit! What? Research. It should have been destroyed. Dr. Marco was right. It's evil. What's so evil about it? Oh. The main ingredient for a philosopher's stone is a, is a life. Is human. Yeah, I knew it. I bloody said it would be that. In order to manufacture even a single stone, you have to make multiple human sacrifices. Fuck. How could the military authorize research into something so horrible? I can't believe it. How awful. <laughs> Oh shit. But sir, please just pretend you never heard any of it. Oh my god, so then what are they gonna do? They can't just sacrifice people for their own gain. Like that's just Thanks. I mean no. it's their mission and now they they've been told they have to commit the unthinkable, really. You know, Al, it's like Try so hard to grasp the truth, but it always slips away. Yeah. Now that we finally have caught it, it turns out the truth is too dangerous to hold. <laughs> I'm starting to think this is God's special way of torturing people who've committed. That's why he should have taken it from Marco by force. <laughs> I. Brothers, I know you're in there. Hell? This is the major. What do we do? We ignore him, that's what. Oh! I know what it said, Edward Elric. Ah! How tragic! <laughs> Even the legend of the Philosopher's Stone is built on such a terrible secret. Huh? Look closely. Maybe you'll find the truth hidden within the truth. <gasps> I didn't have a clue what he was talking about then. The truth within the truth. So there must be something else to it. It can't just be that. There's only a portion of the truth. There's still more to find here. There okay. Is. That makes me feel a bit better. Okay, so? What was the main ingredient for a philosopher's stone? You said it needed live humans. Ugh. Ugh. There'd be plenty of condemned criminals in the prison. Officially, they'd be recorded as executed. They're using the prison. Uh, oh! I'm talking about this any more than you. Prisons from other jurisdictions could be used too. I wonder if the government is involved. Oh no. We're getting involved in something really dangerous here. That's why we told you to pretend like you've never heard anything. What the fuck? This has the potential of becoming a political nightmare before. Oh god, not the government corruption. Please. Meantime, officers, speak of this to no one. Sir. And you, Elric brothers, behave yourselves. <laughs> I know you 
two boys. You were thinking about so they think this building and taking a look around. They're making philosopher's stones using criminals who are executed, but instead they're sacrificing them to make them or make them part of the concoction. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not a terrible idea. It's like if these people are due to be executed anyway, it kind of makes sense. But it's like. You know, like, execution is a really controversial topic anyway, isn't it? So... Oh my god, not... Oh my god. How is Al... <laughs> How did he... How did he manage to do that? They're not taking any chances, are they? You need to wait here. You're fine on your own? <laughs> Whether I'm fine on my own or not isn't the issue. You're too big to get through here. <laughs> it's not like I asked to get this big. <laughs> it's not like I asked. What is it, 48? It looks as if we've got guests. <laughs> Some daredevil oh. idiots came to visit, did they? So I think I'm understanding this right. I think so anyway. I think. I think. I think. I think. I think. Maybe. Got a small body. Oh no! I just got myself a tiny little pet <laughs> You're a big brave boy. <laughs> there are lights on. Not currently in use. Who are they trying to fool? This is it, all right. It's taking a long time. Oh! Oh my god. <gasps> Shit! Oh god. There was a lot to unpack in that episode. There, there was a lot. There, there was a lot going on in that episode. So, first of all, so we now know that human life is involved with making a Philosopher's Stone, which honestly does make sense because from like episode two, I had been saying, surely the equivalent of human life is human life. Like there's not really anything else that comes close to that. Truth beyond the truth. So is the government like mass producing these like Philosopher's Stones using lives of criminals? Like, is that what they're trying to say? I'm, I'm like, I'm not sure if that's uh, maybe I'm getting that wrong because that doesn't sound ridiculous because it does it sounds like that could be a thing but um this is the first time I feel like apart from what they mentioned with like the ish like the civil war with the Ishvalan people this is the first time I've ever we've actually been given like the corrupt government sort of backstory in this so is that how they experiment they I don't know. I'm not really sure right now. So everyone, thank you so much for watching my reaction. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.